Good morning, everyone. Again, I am Teacher Chris, and today we have another lesson. So today we are going to learn about different kinds of moods and feelings. Okay, so usually, or maybe you just only know uh, like sad and happy. But today, you are going to know what are the different kinds of mood. Okay, so before that, I'm going to ask you, how are you today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Or are you tired? Okay, so now we are going to start with our lesson. Okay, so this lesson is uh, about mood and feelings, but we are going to have a character. So our character for today is the monsters. Okay, so we will know what are the different kinds of mood and feelings of the monsters, okay? Okay, first, first mood of the monster is happy. Okay, so look at the picture. The monster is happy. Are you happy too? Okay, next, sad. Look at the face of the monster. The monster is sad. Next, angry. Look at this. Look at the face. So, he is angry. Next, surprised. Again surprised so the monster surprised so if someone will give you a gift so sometimes you will feel surprised okay next scared oh she is scared look at the face of the monster so the monster is scared next excited okay so the monster is excited Next, calm. Okay, so she is calm. Tired. Okay, so tired. So the monster is tired. Next, worried. The monster is worried. Okay, so are you ready to meet the mood of the mood monsters? So our monsters has different kinds of moods or feelings. So, when we see moods or feelings, how do you feel? Okay, so your feelings. So, but we are going to know what are the different kinds of moods and feelings of the monsters. Okay. Okay. These strange round creatures often change how they look to show how they are feeling. Okay. So, there is what we call changes of mood. They can change color several times a day as their moods change. So our monster, every time the monster will change his mood, the color also will change. Sometimes they are happy and a bright yellow color. So if the monster is happy, the color is yellow. Sometimes they feel sad and turn to blue. Oh, if it... If the monster is sad, then it will turn to blue. Sometimes they go bright purple when they get excited. So again, uh, happy, yellow, sad, turn to blue, purple when the monster is excited. Sometimes they go orange if they get a surprise. Okay, so if, if they get a surprise, the monster will turn to orange color. Next, and bright red when they are angry. So if the monster is angry, the color will turn to red color. And green if they feel scared. Okay, so scared, green, angry, red. Uh, surprise, orange, purple, when they are excited, blue, when they are sad, and yellow, when they are happy. Next, sometimes they feel calm and a light blue. So, 
blue and light blue. They are different colors, okay? Other times, they are tired and turn to teal green or bright pink if they feel worried. Okay, so we are going to review our color first. So, happy or yellow or yellow is for happy. Blue for sad, purple for excited, orange for surprise, red for angry, green for scared, light blue when they are tired, teal green, or pink when they feel worried. Okay, so let's look the change of the mood of monsters. Okay, let's look at each mo mood monster. See if you can tell how each mood monster is feeling. Happy. So, happy. What's the color again? Yes, it's yellow. Okay, the monster is happy. Okay. When the monster feel happy, they turn yellow. They are smiley and cheerful. They are friendly, kind, and helpful and like to wave and cuddle their friends. They often make friends with the other monsters and help them feel happy too. So, you are like a monster. If you are happy, then you are cheerful. Okay, or you are always smiling. Okay, next. Sad. So, how do you feel if you are sad? Or how you react to other people when you are sad? Look at the face of the monster. When the monsters feel sad, they turn blue. They feel unhappy and sometimes cry. Okay, so when you are sad, sometimes you cry. They often stay by themselves and are very quiet. To change how they feel, they make friends, talk to others, and get help to work out how to solve their problems. So, if you are sad, then you are not happy or you are very quiet. And how can you change that mood? You need to go with your friends and you need to talk to your friends. Why are you feeling sad? Okay, next. Angry. Okay, so if you're angry, what does the monster do if they are angry? When the monsters feel angry, they turn red. Okay. They feel cross and irritable. They stamp around and sometimes shout. Oh, when the monsters are angry, they are shouting. They are often noisy and other monsters are sometimes scared of them. To change how they feel, they sit quietly and calm down, talk to others, and think carefully to work out ways to solve their problems. Okay, so if you are angry, you need to sit down and you need to be alone and calm yourself. Do not shout, nor stamp, or be angry to someone also. Okay, so what you are going to do, keep quiet or sit quietly and calm down. Okay, next. Surprised. Okay. So, when the monsters feel surprised, they turn orange. They feel happy and a little shocked. They never know what to expect and sometimes jump in surprise. Oh, it's very natural. So, if you feel surprised or if you are surprised of something, then you, sometimes you are jumpy. They have big eyes and a big round mouth. They have big bushy eyebrows, which are often high up near their hair. So it looks like this. So your eyes turn to round and your mouth will also be round. Okay? Next, scared. Okay. When the monsters are scared, they turn green. They often scamper around quietly 
and tiptoe quickly from place to place. They like to hide under or behind things and can be very quiet. To change how they feel, they talk to others about what frightens or worries them. So, if you feel scared, Sometimes you cover your face with the cloth or the, the pillow or the blanket. But it's not, it's not how you are going to overcome or how you are going to avoid that kind of feeling. Instead, you need to, feel, you need to talk to someone and tell them, why are you afraid? Okay, you can talk to your parents or to your friends. Okay, so or or if you are afraid of something, you can ask or you can be with your parents. Okay, next, excited. When the monsters feel excited, they turn purple. They often bounce around and often jump up and down with excitement. They move very quickly and often tire themselves out. Sometimes they have to stop to rest before bouncing around again. So if you are excited, you are jumping all around, okay? So this is a good feeling. Next, calm. When the monsters feel calm, they turn blue or gray. They are often relaxed, sitting comfortably, and do not feel stressed. They have a clear mind and can make great choices when they are learning. Making decisions are talking in front of others. They will often find the others' monsters like to be near them and make the other monsters feel calm too. So calmness is a positive feeling. So this is a good feeling or mood. Next, tired. When the monsters feel tired, they turn green or gray. They often look pale and yawn a lot. Look out for dark circles under their eyes as a sign of feeling tired. They can be a bad mood or feel angry and tearful without knowing why. Treat them gently and be patient as they will feel better after a good sleep. So if you feel tired, then you need some rest, okay? So, next, worried. When the monsters feel worried, they turn pink. They feel a little bit sick and a little upset. They might want some time alone to think, or they might want to share their worries with someone else. A worry monster needs a friend. So, if you feel worried, then you need a friend. Okay, so next, you are going to do your activity. So what you are going to do is create, okay? So you can base the, the feelings of the monsters, but this is your own feeling. How do you feel right now, okay? How do you think they are feeling? Draw a face on your monster, then color them in. You could write about your feelings, monster too. So this is all about yourself. If you are happy today, then you are going to write a happy face or draw a happy face and color it yellow. If you are angry, then draw an angry face and color it red. Okay, so you can base the color according to the monster's colors we learned. Okay, so that's all for today. And if you have a if you have any questions regarding with this one, or if you could, if you can't understand, you can message me in the line. Okay, so that's all for today, and see you again.